Hello and welcome to the Atlas International uh, tutorial with regards to our database. Um, I hope this gives you a good general overview about how to deal with things. So let me just start by saying that you should have already, by being a new agent or existing agent, have gone through the process with our IT team here in the UK about setting up your database because you need to download security certificates like for example here. So I'm presuming you've already gone through this step. If you haven't, I'll talk briefly about that in a second. So to start with, you should then have always have this email up, or this um, URL up here, which will lead you onto this website. And bizarrely, you always have to click click continue this website not recommended, which will open up your security certificate, which is here, and you then get a password access. Um, or I do in this case. You may not have to, but I'll just go through this um, at the moment. So once you've done this, you'll open up into the home page. Now, if you haven't got a security certificate already, please email this email address here, itsupport at atlasinternational.com, and someone will come back to you with regards to that. So that should help you. But this is a home page. It's a very basic, general um, database which helps you to organize, diarize, um, you know, put more details on about clients, what they're looking for, and everything like that. And I'll go through that very briefly now. So to start with, as I said, this is the home page. Now, if you are a, a main agent or a, a country manager, for example, you'll have this basic screen, which will include things like all leads. So this is every single lead in your country. You'll also have my leads. So if, for example, you're a, a sub agent or you are working for someone, you'll have your own set of leads. A country manager may have their own set of leads, which will be in here. We've got groups, which I'll talk about later, which is where you might have specified within your leads a group which are, for example, really hot clients or are only looking at Spain, which I'll go through in a minute. You may have diarised entrants, so you will call Mr. Smith on the 5th of January on 2004, which I highly recommend working through. You've then got a search function, so you can search for everyone who's interested in Spain, or everyone who is cold, or everyone who, I don't know, um, has got a postcode related to northern Sweden, for example. Um, we'll start here with a new lead, how to upload a new lead. So this is very, very simple. You'll type in, for example, Mr. Um, uh, Rob Gramson, for example, in this situation. You've got a heard about, so if you've heard about them from Google or the Internet or uh, a paper advert or an airport, you can put that all in. Um, you then put their address. So this, for example, is the number. This is the um, street. This is the, um, I don't know, the town where they come from. This is the county or region, for example, and the postcode that you may have. Country, you can put in any country, and you can also allocate if they've been to an exhibition or not. And then all you do, you do insert. Now, that's a very quick and easy way of inputting leads, but then if you want to, if you're talking to someone at an exhibition or on the phone, you can then go into far more details by this tab here, which gives you lots of different options, which I'll go through. But here you've got some basic details, but if you click Edit, you can then... In two seconds, it'll upload. Enter in everything else you need. So, phone numbers in here, email addresses, for example, and then you can put in here alternative details. You can put in when they prefer to be contacted, and this is very important their first choice location. You can then talk about other choices, maybe second choices, for example, and put it in this column. Ignore this one for the moment. So, then you just update. And then you can do extra things like, for example, contact records. Um, you can put in that you've emailed them on uh, this particular date, um, emailed about new turkey releases, and that they are fantastic value. So you can put in that you've just emailed them about that. You can put in your next contact date, which in here is the 11th of December. And all you do is you go insert. Now what this will do is it will keep a record of when you've last contacted them and when the next contact, which is very important, is. And all you do, if you want to change that, you just write in here the new date or you can just bring it up here. Okay? So that's that. You can then go into more details about the property required. So you just click edit and go into the particular locations or um, you know what they're actually looking for, which is very important. And then you can do things like um, inspection. You can ignore inspection trips and lead transfer. That doesn't matter. If you're a main agent, um, you may want to deal with this. You may want to 
you know, send it, send a particular lead if they are, I don't know, if you're a Swedish agent and you've got a Dutch lead, you may want to send it to Holland, which you can do. Um, and then admin is where you put, for example, if they're really hot or if they're really warm or if they're things, and then you just click set category. So then you know that they are a hot lead. All right. Um, you could also put in here if they are, um, you can, in fact, ignore this section as well. So that's that. Um, and that's all in there. So then once you've done that, you're finished. All right. So you've put in a new lead into the system and you just cut out of them. So then once you put that lead lead in, if you go to my leads, you will see that the top lead that comes up is the guy you've just entered. All right. And in my leads, you've got, as I said, every lead that is associated to you. So you could, for example, just go through these and call their work or home or mobile. If you want more details about them, you click on here. You've got their priority. So we know Rob was hot. Um, but then I want to make sure that I search all of, I don't know, I want to keep a record of Spain leads. So you can go into my groups. And in fact, I've got Spain leads here. So let's make, I'm going to put Turkey leads in here. So I want to make sure that I will always, I've got a group of people which are just for Turkey and only for Turkey. So I've created a new group by typing it in here and it will come into here. All right. So I'll come into that in a little bit later. So if I want to add leads into Turkey, I can go into the search function here and you can see that you could type, you could search for people with a DOR, which is just the reference, which I'll, which I'll just show you very quickly is the reference they've got here. They've got, everyone's got an individual reference, okay? So you could search via reference. You could search via names if you want to. If you've got a particular client rings you up and says, oh, it's Mr. Smith here. And you panic. You can just suddenly type in Smith. Or you could just, for example, search for all hot clients where Rob would be. Or you could, say, for example, do Turkey. All right? And which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to search my whole database for Turkey clients. So I'm going to search it. And you can see it's updating, and I've got 6,675 people uh, for Turkey, so that's quite a lot. So I'm just going to um, put that down to just hot clients. I'm going to update that. So I'm now looking for Turkey hot clients, which is where Rob will be in here. So that's got 249. And then what I can do is I can add to a selected group of people. And what it's going to do, oh, I haven't selected anyone, so I must select them all. And I'll add to a selected group. And there we are. I'm going to add it to the Turkey Leads group. All right, so that's now all done. So if I now go back to my groups, you'll see that Turkey Leads has got people in there. All right, so it's very, very simple. And all you just do is you then go into the Turkey Leads and you've got all the people for Turkey that you can call and you can go into more details if you want. And they're all hot, obviously. Okay, so that's that. And then you've got the last thing, which is the, t the calendar view, which if you come into the office tomorrow, you could then do a search on the 12th of November, for example, for all the people you've got to call. But let's go, for example, to where Rob was. So our next contact was the 11th of December. There you are. you got Rob Gransom. But this is always a very easy way of just coming into the office and saying, right, I've got to call people today. And then you go onto your calendar and you've got to call them. Um, so, for example, have I got anyone to call tomorrow? No, I've got no one to call tomorrow. Or I haven't diarised anyone to call. So that gives you a good overview. You've also got contact lists in here of people um, in the group which you can speak to about anything. Um, but as I mentioned before, if you've got any questions or any queries, just email this email address and it should give you a good general overview of what's going on with the database. So I hope that gives you a good general overview. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye-bye.